So Rich, they really uh, rolled out the blue carpet today. You were at NASDAQ, now you're on New York Stock Exchange. Yes. Why the, why the switch, switch and why now? Well, as our global footprint increases, we're in about 50 countries now, more and more of our box office comes internationally. And consumers love the IMAX experience internationally, and we'd like investors and shareholders to equally embrace it. And we thought this was a very good platform to go on. Right. I know China has a big role in your future. Could you talk about that quickly? Sure. IMAX is extremely popular in China with consumers. Um, our average ticket price is around $12. We have 35 screens open today. In backlog, we have another 65, so we'll get to 100. Um, at the same time, IMAX is popular. The screen growth in China is growing dramatically as well. So there, uh, two years ago, there were about 3,000 screens. Now there's 6,000. In five years, it'll be 25,000. And in 10 years, 40,000. Wow. So you have these trend of the building and the trend of our brand, and I think they intersect and create a good growth. Does that figure into all the takeover talk we're hearing, like Sony's interested in IMAX and maybe even Walt Disney? Actually, there wasn't a lot of takeover talk. On the day before New Year's, there was one rumor in a paper printed in the UK, and in this wonderful world, it goes around. So there hasn't been a lot of talk, but there's no truth to that. I see. Well, you can see why they'd be interested. The stock is sort of popping like twice as high as it was a year ago. Well, I think there's no doubt that we're on a very strong growth curve. Our box offers doubled from 2009 to 2010. Our EPS was stronger throughout the year, so I, you know, I think that's reflected in our stock price.